You knew when you walked up on me in the Publix and I had a car full of goldfish that I wasn't going to be able to go on no damn vacation with you in the middle of the week. If you are new here, thank you so much for sliding on through. And if you are returning, thanks for coming to kick it with your girl once more. We back with another cute little video, cute hairstyle that you can wear in between your silk presses. I had a lot of questions of people asking me like, what do I do in between silk presses and how I'm able to continue to press my hair out as often as I do. So I'm going to show you guys my go-to hairstyle that I wear in between my silk presses. Um, so if you are interested in seeing how I achieve this look from looking like this, then make sure that you do stay tuned. Um, also... I do want to say, on my last video, you guys really did your big one. Y'all really did your big one. I appreciate everybody who watched the video, liked the video, comment on the video, all the love, all the hate, everything. I appreciate all of it, you guys. I'm just overwhelmed with, with I, don't, I don't even have a word for it. I don't even have a word for it. So, you guys, I appreciate it. Um, new people, if you're here, you are not surprised. Subscribe. If you've made it this far, you might as well subscribe. As you can see from my old videos, it only gets better from here. So, can't get worse. So, yeah. You guys, if you are interested in seeing how I got how I look like this right now, make sure that you do stay tuned. And again, thanks so much, you guys. We're look, we're gonna go ahead and get into the video now. All right, you guys. So as you can see, my hair is not straight, and I am not straightening it this week um, for a few reasons. One reason, it's about to be cold as hell outside and a little bit rainy. And then number two, um, I'm just not doing anything. And then number three, which is the most important part, I just need to give my hair a break from the flat iron. A big part of being a silk press girl or a naturally dominant girl, whatever the case may be, not naturally dominant, but don't know what I mean. Like, I pretty much straighten my hair. I'm a straight hair girl. I'm not like a naturalista, whatever. No, nothing against the girls that are. I just feel like I, my hair, it just, it, it just don't, it don't do what it needs to be doing. So if you are like me, then taking a break from the flat iron sometimes is very, very important because you just don't want to over, you know, process your hair. You're putting so much heat on your hair, back to back, flat iron, uh, blow dry, things like that. You want to give your time, your hair some time to kind of repair itself and just cool down a little bit in my opinion. Let, just let the hair cool down. So in between my silk presses, I'm going to show you guys what I, my go-to style, which is typically a sleek back bun. Um, and I want to show you guys what I use to really, really stay moisturized. I kind of consider this as a reset. I kind of just reset my hair. After a week of this, I swear when I start doing silk presses again, my hair is just like super shiny, super good. Scalp on, scalp is just scalping. Everything is just so good. As you guys can see from my last video, I'll tag it here. My scalp was a little bit dry and I didn't like that. So I went ahead and um, started, my, started with just, I wet my hair in the shower. I'm going to show you guys a picture of my hair of what it looked like before and this should also answer any questions for people who, who ask me like am I all natural baby I'm all natural that yo, you guys are really gonna see why I rush to like make sure that my hair stays plat it stays in sections because if I just let it be loose then it, it has a mind of its own so I'm gonna um, start by adding the products to my hair the product that I use in between silk presses to keep my hair moisturized is the Miel honey and ginger styling gel when i tell you guys i swear by this i swear by this this i use it on my daughter's hair she has 4c hair eventually i'll show you guys her hair and how i grew it and stuff like that but i use this this is our household product we use this somewhere through the house anybody who walks through this door and needs their hair done by me like on a personal level not as a client is getting this in their hair this is crap okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start with really really applying a generous amount of this in my hair before i go ahead and section it and I did, my hair kind of maintains this, this, <laughs> this middle part because I keep it when I'm, when my hair is flat ironed and I, and I keep it in a, in, in when it's in a bun. So parting my hair is kind of really easy. I kind of have that part kind of stuck there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this side in a scrunchie. All right, so now that we have this side in a scrunchie, we're going to really take a generous amount of this product. And just so you guys know, this is how I truly feel about the product. You know it ain't sponsored. <laughs> you know it ain't yet <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and work this in here and so now I'm just gonna begin taking my white tube comb and just really combing it in there and as you guys know I do not detangle on dry hair no way so I'm gonna keep on adding more and more um, product to it as I go so while we're here there was a little topic that I wanted to talk about as you guys can tell by the title I'm sure you already know what it is I want to talk about dating when you got kids when you got kids I mean I, I know I only have one kid but I just want to talk about it because 
I know we can relate. A lot of us ladies can relate. A lot of us have children. I have one. I know that a lot of you guys might have more than one kid. Um, but yes, this is something that enough people don't talk about, you know. People don't talk about this enough. And I think, <laughs> I think it's time we talk about it. But yes. So, um, I just feel like, why do men try to act like they don't understand? Like, why are you trying to put me in a position where I got to tell you? Like, I got a daughter. Like, I can't, I can't go here. I got, like, you knew when you walked up on me in the Publix and I had a car full of goldfish that I wasn't going to be able to go on no damn vacation with you in the middle of the week. You knew when you came up on me outside the elementary school, sir, <laughs> that I wasn't going to be able to go to lunch with you in the middle of the day. You knew this. You guys, I'm putting so much of this in it. It just feels so good. It has like the best consistency and it smells so good. It's honey and ginger. It smells so good. If you're allergic to either of those, I don't recommend this. But um, yeah, so now I'm just gonna take my good old faithful brush and brush this side in. And I work in sections just because um, I want it to be as sleek as possible. When you try to get it to go all at once, when you try to get it to, you know, sleek all at once, I feel like that's how you, um, I feel like that's how you get it the flattest. So um, I'm about to start carving this out in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my ghetto baby hairs out. Or should I say my ghetto adult hairs? Cause baby, these is not baby. These is not baby. I think that we as a collective have to understand that these is not baby. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. And I'm just gonna take a thin comb and I gotta hurry up before my pattern starts to revert back. I'm just gonna take this down there. So yes, back to what I was saying. Like, it's like, why come and talk up? Why come and like approach a mom if you know, like you can't, you 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 don't really want to be with no mom, you know? Like, do you want me to be a good mom or do you want me? Would you prefer if I'm like a bad mom? Like, like dudes will dead ass approach you, know you got a kid, and then want you to be out until two a.m. Like you know I'm not staying out. I gotta be up at six. Like you know I'm not staying out. What are you? What are you? What? Why do we even have to have this conversation? Like, it's just pissing me off. It's pissing me off altogether because you know I can't go. It's like, who, it's like the, the phrase, you know, we're a package deal. Who really wants to have to say that? Okay. Yes, why are you putting me in a position where I even have to say that? Because you know, you know we a package deal. You know this, I ain't a four for four, but you know this is, you know this is a combo. You know that this comes with stuff, you know? You know it comes with stuff. And I feel like it, it boils down to maybe some guys have dated girls in the past who, you know, don't prioritize their kids or, you know, put their dating life before their kids or whatever the case may be. But baby, this ain't that. We ain't that. This ain't that. <laughs> and we ain't gonna never be that. If this is how things are going and it's so fresh, you know? It's like, why y'all put me in a position to have to be mean? Put me in a position to have to, to do that. You know, like, I don't, I don't like that. So we're on the other side now. But yes. So, <clears throat> who? But yes, who in who in life ever wants to have to say, "I'm a package deal"? Like, you you guys take all of us. Like, why are you why why are you messing with me? Like, leave me alone. If I'm not if I'm not the type of woman that you're able to you know accommodate or <laughs> whatever the case may be, then leave me alone. You know, leave me alone. Like, I just don't understand. Like, and I really, really spare a lot of guys, like, especially when I see guys who I know, I know are not going to be able to put up with, you know, me being a mom or even my caliber of life. Like, I spare them. I don't even respond to those guys. If I look at you and I already know or I can tell, and some, I, I, it's probably not even 100% success rate, but if I just got the feeling that you can't handle this, I'm not responding. I'm not responding. And sometimes it has nothing to do with how much money you have. Sometimes it has everything to do with what matters to you. You can always tell what matters to a guy based upon his Instagram page always tell he might leave a few things out but a few of them things gonna poke through every time so so yeah I just y'all I just don't understand it I don't understand it for the life of me like and then it's like you don't want to you don't want to rush you want to you want to take your time when it's time when, when, when it's time to like introduce a guy to your kids you want to take your time you don't want to be like rushed or feel forced to do it like imagine you feel forced to do it just because you know you tired of having to turn it turn him down because you don't have a sitter now you don't introduce this whole bozo possible uh, a potential bozo into your kid's life just because your mom couldn't keep her keep your kid because these grandparents is not like the old grandparents used to be old grandparents used to keep us these, these, these grandparents now is different they be trying to go out at night and i don't understand it like baby what you guys now i'm just 
conjoining the two ponytails together. I, I do it like this because I just have so much hair. I have so much hair. And I mean, I just I just need it to be sleek as possible. Sleek, sleek, sleek. Taking my red comb and just working it in there. We're just going to put this part in a bun while we work on the front. While we work on it. Alright, let's go bun that real quick. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my BTL um, gel. Again, I use this gel because it holds me down. It holds me down. Other gels, baby. I'll put it on and in 20 minutes. I get in the car. It's flaking. It looks all weird and stuff. This is like... The ultimate not only is this a great braiding gel but it's just a good gel to like hold down your hair and it's not as harsh as edge control i feel like edge control is i don't feel like you're supposed to put that all over your hair i feel like that is solely for the edge it's something that you can easily wash out i don't think that you should put it all over your head so i'm just going to go around my perimeter basically the part that i want it to be really really sleek and just apply this on there you guys can already see that that shine baby but um yeah, so back to what I was saying. It's like you don't want to introduce the guy to your kids too soon. Because, I mean, a lot of times it'd be early on. And I don't know. I'm just I'm just like that. I mean, I, I don't know how it is when you have sons. I feel like some women are not as hesitant to uh, let their sons meet women. Versus, like, if you have girls, you don't want to... You don't want to introduce a guy to your daughter too early because you just want to be able to properly vet them out. A lot of these guys are weird. And you want to be able to properly vet them out. So you want to, you know, hold off as long as you can sometimes. But then on the other hand, these guys sometimes be forcing. Like, they, like they, push, they push the matter a lot. I'm not even going to hold you. They really do push the matter a lot. Like, I'm getting aid from school. Oh, how was her day today? Or tell her I said, hey. Now you know damn well I'm not about to tell her that you said hey she doesn't even know who you are. Like what are you what are you really trying to say right now, sir? You wanna meet my daughter? Like mm mm. No. That pisses me off. I don't know. I don't want nobody to meet my daughter. I just I, I just can we just leave her out of it for a while? Like why are we even talking about her? Nice. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this dark and lovely shine serum. Crack. Absolute crack. Makes your hair so shiny absolutely love it absolutely love this stuff we are sleek you guys we are sleek sleek so I'm going on this side with the comb one more time but yes I don't want to tell them like that girl expensive okay she likes salmon and fries after school okay she is not your normal kid She's not one of them, them chicken finger, french fries type of kids. Don't get me wrong, she like it, but the girl has not eaten at McDonald's since she was three years old. Literally. I'm just clipping this up because you guys, I just want to really make sure that I get this really nice and shiny. I love when it looks super, super sleek. Love when it looks sleek. But yes, now I'm just going to take my ghetto hard brush. I feel like everybody has a hard brush in their house that's old as hell. This is mine. So I'm just going to take my hard brush. And now I think I'm just about ready to go ahead and put this into a pony. Now, I use two scrunchies just because I have a whole lot of hair. Um, I recommend it for people who have a lot of hair too. And also it helps if you want to get the most absolute sleek bun you can. And all of my scrunchies are dipped in coconut oil as I had mentioned before in my last video. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this into a bun. And back to what I was saying, you don't want to wait too long because then it's like, okay, you, you wait six months for your kid to meet, meet the guy. You really like him. You really ready to go to the next phase in life. And now your kid don't met him and, and they don't like him. Your kids don't like the guy. I'm just cleaning this up a little bit. The kids don't like the guy. You know, it's like now you don't wait it too long. Cause now it's like, dang, now I gotta decide like, am I gonna leave this guy that I really, really like cause of my kids? And let me tell you, I don't know about y'all, but the answer gonna be yes every single time. I'm leaving, I'm leaving cause the babies know, okay? The babies be knowing. I feel like the babies be knowing. They know, okay? So, I don't know. The whole situation is just totally screwed. It's totally, totally screwed. That's why I say it's like literally top top three most ghetto things in the world is dating when you got kids. It's just so, it's so difficult because you just want to make the best decision. It's like you want to be a good parent, but you want to be a good, like, woman as well. It's like, mama got to have a life too, but it's like, 
oh it's just so it's just so so much goes into it it's just it's just a lot all right you guys what i'm doing now is i'm just brushing out this pony it got a little tangled yes so i'm just brushing this out and then oh my gosh i didn't even talk about this all my girls here who don't have kids and you dating a man he do got kids oh i could just imagine how that is because even with me having kids and if I'm dating a guy with kids, it's like, I want you to be uh, the best dad that you could possibly be. Like, I want you to be like dad of the year, like dad of the whole entire year. I don't want you to have any flaws when it comes to being a father, because I just want that for all kids. But at the same time, I still want to be number one in your life. <laughs> I want to be number one in my, I want my daughter to be number two. I'm just leaving this, um, this clip here for a second. You guys, we are so sleek so far. And so now what I'm going to do go against everything I said in the beginning y'all I'm not putting no hair in my real hair but these baby hairs gotta fry okay my doe hair is gotta fry they got to fry so we are going to add a little to the front and now my flat iron as I guys as I told you guys my flat iron is on 380 when it's in the front it's like it's not on at all yes but it's just a whole lot it's a whole lot and i feel like it's ghetto it's really ghetto you guys like how do you all of you all of my people who have like remarried or have moved on to um you know be with somebody else after their baby father and stuff like that like how do you 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 do it what's the thesis like how long did you wait to like let your kids meet the guy that you're talking to like was he paying for sitters like what was what was tea? Because I mean, having it having it involved like baby father and stuff like that is also going to be key as well. Because you don't, I mean, if you you can kind of plan the weekend. you can actually go without the gel but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and gel them down I'm not even gonna play around with them today I just guess like you gotta use your best judgment I guess when it comes to introducing your kids to guys that you're meeting and even disclosing information about your kids to guys that you're talking to and stuff like that I guess I can consider myself fortunate to be already be past that stage I guess but I did want to talk about this because this is something that you know my friends were curious about a lot of my friends I'm, I'm an OG mom almost. I'm like a mid OG mom I'm, I've been a mom for like 11 years now when my friends are like new moms and they're dating and stuff like that and so they this is just a topic that we talked about you know how men just really do not understand what it's like being a mom but then why go talk to moms like it doesn't make no sense at all but yeah so we are pretty much done you guys let me go get my clip all right you guys we are at our final look as you can see my bun is bunny i got it pinned up and everything like that and i got my little jacket on it's cold as hell in atlanta today it says it's 42 degrees outside i gotta go get my daughter um from school and then we're gonna go run some errands afterwards so um i hope that you guys did like the tutorial i'm gonna go ahead and do a little spin view for you guys let me show y'all the outfit not that you asked so today, since it is a little cold, I have on this cute little jacket I got from this place called Foxes in Atlanta. I'll see if I can link it down below. And then I just have on this cute little two-piece. Um, the top is from Sheen, the bottom is from Sheen. It goes all the way down. Um, yes, so this is our outfit for today. We're about to be a carpool cutie. I hope that you guys like the video. Make sure that you do like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And I will see you guys in the next video.